Hello, Akira here, and welcome back to the channel. May I present the next new awful way to play Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. FE8, but all of my units have zero speed. This is modelled after Exile Blum's zero strength playthrough, which proved to be possible. This time, everyone has zero speed base and zero speed personal growth. And it's an Iron Man, where chat will be voting on which route we go on, because it's funnier that way. I think. I actually think they might be worse than zero strength, since the lack of speed affects both the offense and defense of my units. So, join me in this wacky ride where Seth no longer one round KOs over 50% of the game at base. In my first attempt to stream this zero speed FE8 run, YouTube gets too excited and decides to mirror the units in my edited ROM and have zero speed. Fortunately, this issue is solved for the next attempt, where I'm able to start a difficult mode run without my game video lagging horrifically behind the audio. In the prologue, we are joined by Erica, who has zero speed, and Seth, who has zero speed. Erica is even more useless than usual, as now in addition to lacking attack and bolt like in vanilla, she now lacks her avoid and has even worse bulk due to getting doubled for huge damage. Meanwhile, Seth no longer doubles, and therefore cannot one round most enemies, but is still obviously amazing in this context, as the unit with 11 base defense and 8 base res is invaluable for the tanking we will have to do. The tanking, in fact, that starts right on this first map, with the second fighter, who has 4 speed. This means that he doubles both Seth and Erica, potentially one round KOing the latter from full with not awful hit rate, due to my units having no void. As a result, Erica is not allowed to do anything on this map, and Seth routes the enemies himself in a pretty standard 2 turn. Later clears will take far longer. Come chapter 1, all of the fighters have 4 or more speed doubling everyone and thus making them the nemesis of this army. Still, because Seth is now better at the Jagan job of setting up kills for other units, Erica is able to obtain some experience by getting the kill on the first fighter on enemy phase counter. After this first turn, we are joined by Franz, who has zero speed, and Gilliam, who has zero speed. In this context, I have no clue how I'm meant to get Franz levels, as he's usually the squishiest of the cows. Gilliam, however, has his stonks right dramatically in this run, as his speed is pretty bad if we're being kind in vanilla FE8, and tanking is now actually a valued role. It has been a long time though since I've had Erica get injured within the first turn of this map, and therefore I move her onto the fort before routing the non-boss enemies on this map present from the beginning. This ends tragically, as it means that I inadvertently trigger the reinforcement zone too early, and get my units pincered by multiple fighters that cannot be one hit KO'd by Seth. Thus Erica is attacked by a fighter while on the fort, and dies after getting hit by two 41s, bringing a very embarrassing end to the first attempt proper of this zero speed run. Clearly, more degenerate strategies will have to be used in the future. If you're interested in following the progression of this run, and aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. In addition, I am streaming this Cursed Iron Man weekly on Thursdays at 6.30pm UK time, which is 130 EST, so it would be cool to see you there. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a good one.